The following is a presentation of SC State Athletics. Coach Buddy Pugh, South Carolina State Bulldogs are back in action after having a week off, coming off their best win of the season against the Citadel here at the Olive C. Dawson Bulldog Stadium, Willie Jeffries Field. Today, their attention turns to the Virginia Lynchburg Dragons, an HBCU team nestled in the hills of Virginia, right off the James River, right below the Blue Ridge Mountains. Now, it's an HBCU team that used to be in the CIAA, but they did away with football back in 1954 and has sent searching for that first win over a major college football power. For South Carolina State, could this be the game that lights the match that sets the Bulldog season on fire? We're about to find out. Coming up next on the Buddy Pew Show. Alex bounces it outside in the 40, turns the corner into 45, at the field, in the board, in state territory, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, takes a break to the 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 35, 30, Donnie Dixon, 25, 20, 15, 10, Donnie Dixon, 5, Donnie Dixon, he keeps it himself, the monster just got wrapped up and gets him on the turf. Coach Virginia Lynchburg after a week off. Talk to me about preparation for this football game because mentally now, Virginia Lynchburg on paper not a real good football team, but that makes them a dangerous football team. You're exactly right. And they were like close at the at the half last week against Delaware State. And a couple weeks before, they had Presbyterian down and blocked some kicks and that kind of stuff. So they've got a chance anytime to get out there. Anytime you you know got a situation like this where they don't really have anything to lose, then you always know you're going to play a loosey-goosey football team that might somehow or another find a way to beat you. What was the biggest challenge? Challenge and getting ready for this football team, knowing who you're playing, plus given the fact you had two weeks to get ready. Well, it, we had two challenges. First off, we had to figure out exactly what we could do to make ourselves better. It's more about South Carolina State right now than it is about the rest of our schedule. So if we can get ourselves to the, to the point where we know exactly what we've got and who can do what for us, then at that point, then I think that gives us the opportunity to develop and be better. So we went through most of trying to figure us out. Now, from there, we started practicing a little bit on Virginia Lynchburg and a couple of other schools in the back of our schedule. This past week, though, it was all Virginia Lynchburg. And at this point, we think that, you know, we got a chance to you know, get after these guys pretty good. But the key to it all is that we get a good start. We need to get after these guys from the very beginning. The longer they stay in it, the, 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 the more confidence they get. And at that point, and it gives them, the you know, the edge uh, to a certain degree. So we need to get to them from the very beginning. Coach, talk about the quarterback position. That's been kind of a bone of contention over the course of the season. You've played two most of the season, but you had an opportunity to play a lot of folks leading in. What were you able to, to work on and maybe solidify? Yeah, well, we kind of came to the conclusion after the Citadel game that we want to go back and play mostly Corey and Andre will play some, but at this point, Corey is our guy and we'll kind of make him, you know, A1 that way. So we won't necessarily do very much besides that. So the plan is built around his skill set. Now, we'll have a chance to do some things with Andre and Andre is really down the road a piece we think can be really special. For me, this Franklin's still out there you know we can still do some thing with him but at this point right now we're gonna try to see how far we can ride Corey Fields is, uh, uh, back to the end of this deal. Coach talk about the defense now you played really well against the Citadel really didn't allow them to get started any changes on the defense and, and the injury situation surrounding that group? Well Octavia our mentor is out we're gonna hold him but the majority of the rest of our defense is back and you know, I think our guys, you know, with Coach Thomas Howard now, are beginning to settle in a little bit. He's new, but at the same time, he's got to the point now where guys are really starting to feel, you know, for what he's trying to get them to do. So I think we at the point now where our defense is coming along. Hopefully we're at the point now where we can really depend on them to be the lead defense that we've been expecting and, and always anticipating here at South Carolina State. Coach, you challenged your offensive line in the last ball game. Okay. Had a week after to think about that. What about the challenges and what do you want to see from that O-line today? Well, it's the same as usual. We got to be able to run the football, and that's where it starts at. Those guys have got to be, you know, the lead dogs in this hunt. And what we really feel like is those are those guys are, are returning experienced guys. So we ought to have, you know, a pretty good feel for the fact that they ought to be dominant in a way that we ought to be able to really lean on them and not necessarily have to worry about, you know, being able to run the football. But it's not been that way. Well, we think it's getting to be back that way now. So hopefully they are kind of got their ship right, and we'll be at the point now where we can make this thing happen. All right, Coach, best of luck this afternoon. Thank you so much, Ernest. Max Yankov will kick it off. 
Cobb with the kickoff, recovered by one of the up men, fielded by one of the up men around the 13 yard line. He fights back up the field, pushed out of bounds on the South Carolina State. On sidelines, shotgun formation for the Dragons. Two Dragons are to the right, one to the left. Shotgun snap back to Cooper. Steps up in the pocket, now wants to run the football. He's going to be wrapped up and slung down. Aaron Smith has him. No whistles blown. They finally blew the whistle to sack all the way back at the 18-yard line. Bulldogs have 10 on the line of scrimmage. Here they come. Boozy kind of misses the punt. It's blocked. It's recovered by... Looks like that was uh, hey, Aiden Weber. Weber has it. Weber picks it up into the end zone. Aiden oh. Weber with a touchdown. And just like that with 12.03 to go here in the first quarter. The Bulldogs are on the board first seven for South Carolina State. Nothing for Virginia Lynchburg. Aiden is coming on the blitz. They flip it out. It is intercepted by Jamari Benjamin at the 50 at the 45-40. Back into Dragon territory before he's tackled down. But Jamari Benjamin read that extremely well. There's a snap to give it to Casey inside. Casey gets the move at the 30. Casey gets the first down, runs over. A guy gets tackled down to the 22-yard line. Best run of the day. 11-yard pickup for Casey Fields. Keyshawn's the H back to the left. They give it to Casey over the left side. Across the 15 at the 10. Casey cuts back at five. Touchdown, Casey Fields. What an outstanding run from 13 yards. I'm sorry, from 17 yards out. And so that makes it 14 for South Carolina State. Nothing for Virginia Lynchburg with 5.53 to go here. Cleves, back to pass. We could get a sack. Cleves in trouble. And we got us a sack to give back. <laughs> That's Kenley. Jamal McKinley with the first sack to give back for South Carolina State. Shotgun snap to Corey. Rolling to his right. Looking. Throwing. Got a man out there. Jordan Smith catches it at the 20. Turns at the 10. At the 5. Smith going for the pylon. Did he get there? Oh, yes, he did. He did get there. Jordan Smith went for the pylon. And from... 28 yards out. It's a South Carolina State touchdown. It may be a long day for the Dragons and a great day for the Bulldogs as their score is South Carolina State 21. Virginia Lynchburg nothing. C.J. Brooks, who is the starting quarterback, is the starting quarterback now for Virginia Lynchburg. And the Bulldogs will get another sack to give back. Jablonski Green with the sack, a three-yard loss. There's a snap to give it to Howell. Howell over the right side. Howell bounces it outside at the 20 to 25. Howell gets his best runner to date up to about the 28-yard line. Shotgun snap to Corey. Corey gives it to Jamal. Jawan over the left side at the 40, at the 45, at the 50. Jawan up into Dragon territory. Stopped down at the 38-yard line. Corey back to pass. Flips it out. Screen. This is Jawan Howell at the 20, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. Jawan into the end zone for the score. And with 5.21 to go here in the first half, our score, South Carolina State 35, Virginia Lynchburg nothing. C.J. Brooks, the quarterback. Brooks, play action fake, looking long. Got a man a wide open over the middle at the 15. Aiden Weber trying to run him down on the reception for Virginia Lynchburg, still on his feet. The kick is good, and Virginia Lynchburg is on the board with 2.54 to go in the first half. Keyshawn Tony's the age back to the left. They give it to Casey Fields. Casey across the 30 at the 35, spins, gets up to about the 40-yard line. Corey Fields at quarterback. Play action fake. They throw it to Justin Smith-Brown. Smith-Brown at the 50 at the 45 at the 40. Cuts on Burners at the 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Justin Smith-Brown. Tackled in the end zone, but the Bulldogs on the board. Bulldogs up 42 to 3. Brooks back to pass. Brooks in trouble. Brooks now floating out. Has a man out there caught. I tell you what, that's Siragoni up at the 50-yard line. Jason Siragoni, Bill. And he gets out of bounds. And he he catches the football. Harris on the shotgun. Back to pass in trouble. Gummy wrapped up, brought down. Another <laughs> sack to give back. This time it's Aaron Smith and Aiden Weber with the yeah, sack. Yeah. Virginia Lynchburg in no hurry. Back to pass. Harris steps up in the pocket. Gonna be sacked again. Another sack to give back. That's a shot haul. Our score at the half. It's South Carolina State, 42, Virginia Lynchburg, 3. All right, Coach, we start this football game about as well as you could expect to. Your offense didn't get you going, but your special teams got you on the board first and took some pressure off your offense. You're exactly right. We wanted to go fast and, and get a good, fast start, but you know I didn't think it would start that fast. Our defense got a stop and, 
And uh, from that point, our special teams, our punt block team, blocked the punt and got a score right off the bat. So, you know, we were cooking with gravy right there at the very beginning. Aiden Weber scored his first touchdown as a South Carolina State Bulldog and coach. You know, we talk about the fact that you use a lot of starters on special teams. Weber played well on special teams. Aaron Jones made a lot of tackles on special teams. I'm sorry, Aaron Smith yes. made a lot of tackles on special teams as well. Both those guys have played uh, punt, which is the most important team that we play uh, almost all season. And, you know, I tell guys, if I trust you, if I put you on our punt team, you really know that I trust you. And, uh, you know, those guys are doing a nice job. But now it was punt block that got us started. We call it dog team. We can't ever figure out the difference when somebody says punt or punt block. So rather than call one punt and one punt, we call punt block dog team. So uh, our dog team actually went out and got us a score right at the beginning of the game, which was a big start to the game for us. All right, the offense struggled on that first series, Coach. But after that first series, Corey settled them down. You got the run game going, 201 yards rushing in the first half of the Bulldog offense. Got a good mixture going. And you could tell they wanted to try to stop Corey this game because Corey had run the ball pretty good against the Silver two weeks prior. So, you know, in this particular case, the read was to give to the tailback most of the time. And he got some big runs. And our offensive line really did a nice job of blowing the front off of that, that off of the ball in a way where it gave us some, some big game yardage. You know, you start talking about big game yardages, Coach, you played a bunch of running backs in the first mm -hmm. half. You started with Jamon Howard. He started slowly. You go to the bench, bring some other guys in. That got him going. Yeah. You get production out of everybody. You're right. We got, I guess, maybe five or six running backs that you really can kind of depend on. It's been a, uh, an embarrassment of riches here for most of the season that way. And we've been struggling a little bit offensively running the football in a way where we hadn't really gotten the real benefit out of them. But you could see it coming. Today was one of those days that you could actually see it actually come to fruition in a way where you got a real good look in those guys. Bulldogs put up 42 first half points because there was only one series in this whole ball game near the end of the second quarter when Virginia Lynchburg got something going offensively and your defense had to sort of kind of buckle down right. and stand yeah. up. We had a busted assignment on a pass play where the tight end came free as a bird and I thought he was going to score but we ran him down. It was a good thing it was a tight end. If he had been a wide receiver he would have scored but at the same time we got him stopped and then that field goal kick is pretty good. So he made a long field goal and at that point you know they got three points. That was where the first half ended. South Carolina State leading Virginia Lynchburg 42 to 3. We'll take a time out here on the Buddy Pew Show. We'll come back with more after this timeout. Your home is where your memories live, where you laugh, and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for nearly 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Hey, South Carolina, you can make a choice for your Medicaid health plan. Choose Healthy Blue. With Healthy Blue, your whole family is covered for free or low cost checkups and prescriptions plus eye exams and glasses for kids and adults. Get all this and more from a plan backed by the Cross and Shield. The choice is easy. Get Healthy Blue now at choosehealthyblue.com slash SC and get more from Medicaid. Prisma Health keeps South Carolina hearts beating strong. As the largest cardiovascular provider in the state and home to the only freestanding heart hospital, dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of heart disease, we provide the heart care you need. With more innovative treatments like LVAD, more specialists, and more locations closer to you, we're doing even more to help you <laughs> be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, the heart and vascular experts. All right, it's that time on the Buddy Pete Show where we do the Prisma Health Injury Report. And, Coach, for this ball game, you came out pretty good. We did. We get to the point now where we get almost our entire team back healthy. Cam Johnson 
one of our offensive linemen. He's struggling a little bit back and legs and that kind of stuff. And we didn't play him at all in the second half. But I think most of the rest of our team seems to be pretty good in pretty good shape. So one of the best things about this week's program is the Food Lion Sack to Give Back program. And coach, we had some sacks for Food Lion to give back as they'll give $1,000 for each sack, 1,000 meals for each sack that we get. And we had quite a few of them on Saturday. That's a, that's a lot more than $1,000 too. But I can tell you, I think we've got at least five. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, God Bolt said he had a couple, and Jamal McKinnon had a few, and you know some of those other guys. Look, there were some sacks out there. So I'm looking forward to going in and looking at the film so we can figure out exactly how many. But the stats say that we had five. A well, sack to give back program by Food Line, where they will provide a thousand meals uh, to needy folks in the Orangeburg and South Carolina communities, and we're really appreciative for their support in this program and so glad coach we can contribute this week finally we've been going a couple of weeks where we hadn't had any sacks or we had the stats said we hadn't had any sacks but we did but at the same time we for sure got some so i'm looking forward to seeing exactly how this deal works all right we'll take another time out here on the buddy pew show when we come back we'll talk about the second half south carolina state and virginia lynchburg on this edition of the buddy pew show Life moves fast, and while you're raising future MVPs, it's good to know you've got a teammate with Founders, a partner you can trust to always have your back, with products and services that give you the freedom to focus on the more important things. While you're sharing those moments, remember, we're here for one single reason, to help grow your financial success. So when the game is done, you can relax, because at Founders, our most valuable player is you. The lottery is not about getting rich. The lottery is about helping people, and it always has been. It was the lottery that helped raise the Great Wall of China, maintain the roads of ancient Rome, and in this country, help fund a revolution against tyranny. And today, in South Carolina, the revolution continues. But we're not building walls or roads or bridges. We're investing in you. Want to learn more? Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you. It was transformational. It just means the world to me. When I first heard that MUSC was coming to Orangeburg, I was excited. They have an excellent reputation. It just felt like our local healthcare system was getting an upgrade. Having them in this neighborhood, this community, really gives us access to world-class care. It's close to home. It's gonna stop us from having to travel to Charleston or Columbia. And that will help save lives. We're gonna have more specialty doctors. I know it's gonna help me create a positive impact on the lives of my patients. We talk about good quality of life and that starts with good quality healthcare. It provides an opportunity for our young people to be um, employed in our community and stay in the community. It's a big deal for us to help attract new families and new growth in our town. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day here in Orangeburg with MUSC. Shotgun snap, they give it to Josh Shaw. Josh over the left side, Shaw at the 40, Shaw getting forward across the 45 to the 46 yard line. That's an 11 yard run. Andre Washington, a quarterback. Shotgun snap to Andre, gives over Shaw. Shaw's carried it every play so far. Over the left side, gets the first Shaw, down, down to the 42-yard line. Football on the right hash is the Dragons attack right to left. Back to pass, going long. Got a man out there. It is intercepted by South Carolina State. And Brunson had room to run, <laughs> no. and, uh, and he got tackled down. Zane Dunham trying to make a block. Two receivers left, one right. Washington. They jump off sides again. This time Washington throwing it deep. Catches it. It's uh, nasty. Washington takes the shotgun snap, gives it to Josh Shaw. They no, keeps, keeps it himself. himself. Washington and he scores. In his own. My goodness, Bill, thank you. <laughs> because I thought he gave it to Shaw. Pulled it out. Snuck into the end zone. It's 49 for the Bulldogs. Three for Virginia Lynchburg. Punter is Woosley. Here comes pressure. Woosley gets off the punt. Short punt for him. Burgess fumbles the snap with the, the shank. Uh, and it's recovered by the Dragons. It's 35 seconds, 36 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Cleves, screen pass, wrapped up, brought down. What a nice wow. play by South Carolina State. I didn't know Burch had that type of leg. High snap, kick is up. It is long. It is <laughs> through the uprights. <laughs> oh, it's good. Boy, Avery Burch. 51 <laughs> yards in the ball game. It's 49 to 6 now as uh, – 
Uh, Avery Birch. Avery Birch. Avery Birch. Yeah. Kicks a, a 51 yard field goal. Here we go. First and 10 from the Bulldog 40. They give it to Shaw. Shaw bounces outside at 45 at the 50 at the 45 at the 40. Into Virginia Lynchburg territory, all the way down to the 30 yard line. Washington gives it to Shaw. Shaw bounces his outside at 25. Shaw spun around up to about the 20 yard line. That's a pickup of eight. There's a snap. Give to Josh Shaw. Over the right side, Josh Shaw runs down and gets another Bulldog first down with a pickup of seven. They give it to Deani. Deani cuts back at the five. Deani down to the two yard line. This is an area of concern for Coach Buddy Pugh. Gives it to Deani. Deani Dixon. Dixon pushes forward. I think he's in the end zone. There he's he in the end zone. <laughs> Touchdown, Deontay Dixon. So it's 7.42 to go in the game. Our score, South Carolina State 56. Virginia Lynchburg 6. Play action fake. Cleves throws it out there. Has a man out there. Caught first down for the Dragons. Up at about the 38-yard line. Snap it back to him. Hands off to Curtis over the right side. Curtis stood up. Jaden Jones right at the line of scrimmage. He got two yards. There's a the snap. They give it to Curtis up the middle. Curtis running over people, getting the first down. But that's going to do it for the end of the game. So the horn will sound, and South Carolina State will get their second the win of the season, 56-6 over the Virginia Lynchburg Dragons. All right, Coach, again, the second half, you won the opening toss, so that means you deferred your decision to the second half, and that sets up pretty nicely for what you want to do in this football game. It did, and we had our second team offense started the second half, which gave us an opportunity to see if we could control the football using that group. And worked out rather nice. And now we eventually end up turning the ball over on downs. But at the same time, I thought that uh, Andre Washington and that group really looked good for a while. And uh, eventually they did get some scores. On the defensive side of the football, Coach, you got a chance to go down in your roster. Yes. We saw some guys, Adonis Davis, some guys that really don't get a lot of playing time, really um, impose their will on this football game. You, you saw uh, Jordan Dollar, uh, defensive lineman from, 40. from North Carolina. This is his first game playing. You saw Ricardo Sprinkle from Orangeburg. You know, he was one of those guys that we hadn't seen, you know, I think ever. Uh, we saw uh, uh, two or three other guys. That I don't want to even almost call their name right now because I need to kind of get this figured out. But I can tell you that we played pretty much everybody on our defensive side that could play. So we look forward to South Carolina State in that defense as you start to step up now. Of course, as we finish the um, game with the Virginia Lynchburg team, Coach, you got Tennessee Tech coming up. We'll talk more about it. But talk a little bit about that and get them pre prepared for that football game. Well, you know, this is our next game, and it gives us an opportunity to get back to 500. Tennessee Tech's a really good football team, but they played a tough, tough schedule. They're in the OVC, and, uh, you know, they just uh, lost a game. This, they just won a game this past week against uh, Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State, which, you know, it kind of scares you a little bit. And, you know, if we can figure out a way to kind of continue to deal with our uh, uh, offensive and defensive sides of the ball in a positive manner, then I think we'll be fine. But we got our work cut out for us coming this coming Saturday. I will have a final word on next week's game when South Carolina State takes on Tennessee Tech and more on this edition of the Buddy Peep Show. This is where the formula ends and the magic begins. We take the mold, shake the mold, and break the mold. From late nights in the gym to later nights in the library, we grind. Because if you think greatness is a game, think again. Here, nothing shines unless we all do. Why do we travel? Why do we fly? Are we called by the excitement of untold adventures in faraway places? Driven to shape the future of our world? Or to share our world with future generations? We designed Columbia Metropolitan Airport for you, and her, and them. So when the day arrives for your next journey, we'll be ready to get you there. Columbia Metropolitan Airport, fly with ease. No, that's not how it happened. I won the game. You tripped up the that is, <laughs> You told me you won the game. No, I did, I won the game. I read it through, I mean. That's not winning the game. It was good seeing you, man. We gotta go. Good seeing you guys. Oh, I 
forgot to call us a ride. Make the right decision before the wrong one haunts you the rest of your life. In South Carolina, it's sober or slammer. Hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> we all just got new smartphones at Cricket. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hola. Hi. Hi. Okay, bye. 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 Get great seats, safer, simpler, and smarter with TicketSmart. Choose great seats from over 125,000 live events, all backed with a TicketSmarter 100% ticket guarantee. Get your tickets smarter at TicketSmarter.com. Our coach, two and three on the season right now, a chance to get to 500. Tennessee Tech, first opportunity we've ever played this ball club. This will be interesting. This team from up in Tennessee will be uh... – uh, a fun kind of uh, opponent for us this coming Saturday. And, you know, we starting out to develop a little bit of a relationship with some teams that we hadn't had, you know, as much of an opportunity to in the past. So I'm looking forward to see how this works out. You start talking about that, Coach. How does this prepare you for what's on down the line? I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but, of course, the conference is what's most important. Right. But how do you use a game like Tennessee Tech well, to make that next step into the conference? You're exactly right. Iron sharp and iron. And the better competition we can play here, you know, getting close to our conference, I think the better it makes us. So this team will give us a good stern test this coming Saturday. I look forward to seeing just how well we match up. All right, Coach, South Carolina State about to take on Tennessee Tech here at the Odyssey Dawson Bulldog Stadium. We want you to come out this Saturday. We need a, a, a good bit of folks in the crowd. Coach, we had a great crowd this past week. Youth ROTC and uh, Business and Industry Day drew a big crowd. We need a big crowd for Tennessee we Tech. Need, we need another big crowd, you exactly right. And it was really a good crowd today with our youth day. And that's got to be a tradition here that we really figure out, need to figure out how to develop, you know, for some other games. But th this coming Saturday is, is Parent and Family Day. And, uh, you know, all of our uh, students are to bring their folks from, to the game. And then anybody else who's a South Carolina State alumnus or anybody else who's a South Carolina State connection in any kind of way needs to come to this game on Saturday because we need a big crowd for this this, this uh, last home game going into the conference. All right, folks. We hope to see you next week at the Obviously Dawson Bulldogs Stadium when the Bulldogs take on Tennessee Tech. And next week right here on Watch Fox 57 on the Buddy Pugh Show.